Hi, this is Deborah from Beacon of Light. Today is Monday, July 11th. Hope everybody had a really great weekend. There's a card already here. Um, I took a couple days off from doing readings. I hope um, everyone is okay with that. Just kind of need a little break, do some different things. So, um, right away, this other card wanted to come out. He was turned over and it's the Eight of Cups in reverse. So let's see what else comes out. All right, so what is the energy going to be like for Monday, July 11th? There's another card. Take one more. Way too many. I'm not taking all those. Just get one more. Oh, there's one. There it is. Let's see if there's any more reversals. That's weird. No, I think we're okay. All right, so we have the Eight of Cups. And this is the King of Swords, so they're one. Everything's in reverse, and the Queen of Cups. Um, so the Eight of Cups is about walking away. It's about walking away from what was and really setting your horizons on something new, something um, a little bit better for you. Um, and with it being in reverse, there's this tendency to still second guess or even doubt the decisions you've made about walking away and starting something new. Um, this moon kind of shadow is kind of shadowing the situation where you you believe you've done your best um, based on what you knew and now something else is coming into play that is second guessing the decisions you made and um, I think these are just where we we doubt the decisions based on what we know um, we go blindly. I think this is like a mole and they're blind. We go blindly or it's a platypus, one or the other. It looks like it has, it's a mole. <clears throat> it's a mole. So we go blindly based on what we know and based on the emotions we had and based on the turmoil and all the trauma we've gone through. And we kind of leave this behind and we walk forward. And we have to be confident that that was the best thing for us to do to, was to leave that situation or leave that um, those memory, the, those emotions behind. We're never going to forget. You're always going to have a memory, but it's emotions. So now we have the Queen of Cups, and she's all about emotions, you know. And she's like, okay, she's in reverse also. So she it needs to like step into her power. Like this is there's like a storm or maybe some lightning that's up top here. Kind of, it's more like a a hint of a storm coming. And she's holding her one cup. This is the one cup that is true to her, that holds the the correct information for what she wants to proceed forward with. And with it being in reverse, and with this card being in reverse as well, and then of course you got the King of Swords being in reverse. And he's all about confidence and, you know, really trusting yourself and, uh, making intelligent decisions. The king is really sharp with his words as well. Um, he's not going to put up with anything that is going to be detrimental to his status. So this eight of cups is kind of coming in and he's, he's doubting himself for the things that the decisions he's made. Queen of cups is saying, you, you made these decisions to put you on a new path to put, to help you feel better. And this King of Swords coming in saying, these this is where your, your trust and your confidence needs to come in yourself, that these are going to be the best decisions for you. So come out of this shadow period, or at least have the recognition and the acceptance of this shadow period, um, or this period of doubt or um, uncertainty or even insecurity and come into this place of peace and understanding 
that you made the right decision because the only cup is yours and the, you need to have self-love on this journey it's this this is where you gave your, your you gave away all this love before and it didn't work out for you or you you gave away too much of your power in the past and you had it say no um but now you're doubting yourself well what did i do well it's kind of like that double-edged sword you know here comes the king and he's saying you need to trust yourself where are you not trusting the decisions you made and and realizing you may not see it right now, but that these were th these steps were here to help you, not hurt you. This is how we learn to trust ourselves. You know, by the decisions we make, we we make them based on what is best for us at the time, and we don't give ourselves enough credit. So we need to give ourselves credit for what we're walking away from, for what we are choosing is no longer necessary in our life. But it is possible that you will see a different perspective on it. And when you see a different perspective on it, that's where you can truly say, I was loving myself in the moment. I was trusting myself in the moment. But now I've grown enough to know never to go into those type of situations ever again. I think today's going to be one of those days. It's just going to have um, maybe some back and forth energy of doubting based on this Eight of, eight of Cups and where may, maybe we um, gave our power away and um, we're trying to course correct it. We're trying to get back on track to be the queen and the king. And we have the queen and the king energy coming in to try to nudge us forward and say, have confidence in the decisions you made. And let's see what the next step brings us. Don't go backwards. All right, everybody have a really great Monday. Thanks so much. Bye.